and action. I mean, I want you to, when you see Wing Commander 4, I mean, you'll have this noticeable difference between what Wing Commander 3 was like and Wing Commander 4, and you'll say, I thought Wing Commander 3 was good. This is really, I mean, I think some of the stuff we've been shooting, I'd put up next to any 30 or $40 million feature. It's, it's wonderful the way they've decided not to make it just another space combat. But we did that in Wing 3, so this one uh, really stands on its own, and that's the real, I think the real reason to do a sequel is to explore new areas, not just do the same thing you did before. Now this one, there's 38 sets, so the, it's really a, a movie. This one is a, you know, a huge movie, really, here. More than a game, even though it's going to be pulled down to a little um, screen on a computer. In Wing Commander 3, it always felt like there was two or three people in the spaceship. And a big spaceship, there should be thousands of people. So with the real sets, we can put a lot more people in there. We can have a sort of depth of field that you don't normally get and uh, just make it look richer and more lifelike and realistic. Last year, everyone was sort of uh, experimenting. I mean, it was one of the first, I guess, interactive game experiences like that there ever has been. So, uh, so with this, I think, I think everyone does uh, get along better. We know each other now from the first one, um, and uh, we're having a really good time. I think probably the best reason to do this was the, it, was, it, it was such a fulfilling experience the last time. I enjoy it, uh, partially because it, it's really fun. I'm a big hero to my son's ki uh, friends. You know, it's, oh, is that your dad? And so, because they, they all play the game, you know, so. Uh, that's always delightful. And when, when they meet me, he says, hi, Captain Eisen, you know. I go to the supermarket and people go, hey, Admiral Talwin. I go, excuse me? Excuse me? I'm not in the service. You know, I, I, you will forget, you know, it's such a weird thing. Well, I'm having fun because things always change. So, like, now we're shooting on real film, we're moving the camera, we're doing real sets. Um, and so, for me, it's still, you know, I'm, I get to learn more. And, you know, I mean, because I, you know, eventually want to, you know, direct a feature or two as well. And so, um, you know, as well as doing games, it's kind of like it's another creative.